hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is the golden hub where we share about all things about property um so today we're going to be talking about buying a house that is freestanding versus buying a unit or a house or a flat in a complex so the difference is that one of the major differences is that when you're buying a, a house that is freestanding that means that you also own the the, the, the yard you know the the land space is also yours but when you're buying a complex that land space becomes shared you know even if you can have your small yard but the whole space is shared you know you're using a gate that is not yours you're using a gate that is for everybody that is living within the complex and then the other difference is that when you are um, staying in a complex you are entitled to pay levies what they call levies so the levies goes to the body corporate so that they can maintain the whole property but if your house is freestanding that means that all the maintenance of the property is all on you you know um if you decide that you don't want to cut the grass up until the grass is as tall as me then nobody will come and pester you but in a complex um there's usually people who come maybe every fortnight they come and cut the grass and all those things you know just to make sure that the upkeep of the property is well and then the other thing is when you have a freestanding um the whole yard is yours if you want to install a pool you can do that the body corporate can come after you because they enter nowhere because that's your house and it belongs to you so if you want to put up a pool you can do that without any um any any complaints from the body corporate but now if you want to put a pool in a complex you're gonna have to go for an approval if maybe you've got a yard within the complex then you're gonna have to go for approval um from the body corporate and the same thing is i know there are some complexes that they do this if you want to build maybe a granny flat at the back you're gonna have to submit pl a plans to them and those plans have to be approved you can't just go and say i want to build and i have you know, I have the plan here in the head. It has to be documented. It has to be approved. So it's it's quite a process. But with your freestanding house, if you want to put up a, a gravy flat um, at the back, maybe maybe at the front, because you want to get maybe a, another stream of income, you can do that. You know, but nobody corporate will come on you and say you didn't come to ask for approval and all these things, and then they will just question you on all those things. And then the other thing, if you're staying in a freestanding, um, your neighbors will be far, which means that you also have a piece of space um because i know that when you're staying in a complex you own the unit you know you don't own the whole house you own the unit and you find that that next to your unit there's another unit and at times when your neighbor is next door and your neighbor is conversing with somebody you can hear the whole discussion depending on how robust the, the wall is and the ceiling and all those things but in most cases you can you can hear them talk and sometimes i know that maybe you had a long week and then you said that on a saturday or in a weekend you want to relax and, and rest but your neighbor on the next unit his plan is guys i've been busy the whole week and saturday i want to hammer this i want to hammer that and then you wake up you say, oh you don't wake up you sleep and then he wakes up and then he begins to knock some things and then that can become irritating for you and for a complex the other thing about the complex is that the complex is quite secure because you find that some complexes they have a guard on the entrance um so you've got people who patrol the complex which is quite good and then you've got one big main gate which is quite secure which is very very good so for a freestanding you all you have your gate there and the upkeep of that gate is all up on you if you want a security guard there that means more money you're gonna have to pop out more money from your pocket so the freestanding property is not as safe as the complex because usually the complexes they tend to be safer you know um they tend to be safer um than the freestanding house um and then the other thing is for a freestanding you can govern your house by your own rules you know you're using your own rules starting from the gate up until the other back wall but with um, with the complex you are 
governed by the rules that are provided by the body corporate so for example if the body corporate says that at 10 o'clock we don't want parties here we don't want any noises and then you go ahead and have a party they will they might issue you a fine um whereby you end up maybe paying 500 on some complexes um for that you know so 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 you, you really don't have that freedom um, but I understand it's because in a complex there are many people that are living within the unit so they are trying to maintain order because if there's no order then people will just party and you know and I know that some um, complexes they are quite strict they say that they they don't allow students because sometimes students they come and they party they come and they make excessive noise and all those things so they are quite strict but what I'm trying to highlight is that you know if you're staying in a complex you will have to abide by the rules that have been provided by the body corporate so when you buy a property usually in the in the forms that you fill up that are provided by the attendants there will be one for the uh, body corporate whereby you accept the terms and the rules of the uh, body corporate so you 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 are bind you know you are bind by them and yeah i know that some proper some complexes they have rules such as if you're gonna have five people that are gonna visit you you need to notify them in the group that the people um so and so and so and so they are coming to visit me so that they are away and um i know that some complexes they have limitations in terms of parking space you can only park three more let's say maybe not more than three three cars but if you've got your own freestanding you can park as as more than six cars more than five cars depending on how big your property is so um and then the disadvantage is that with the levies i know that some body corporate all they do is they take money and yet the property is not really um cared for you know um maybe every time you ask them um every time you ask them they'll tell you no we're waiting for a quotation for a pay we're waiting for a quotation for the for the gate they'll give you those flimsy flimsy excuses you know which is not good because at the end of the month they want their money and if you don't pay they will issue out um they will issue out notices that your account is in areas and if it's an areas by big amount they can go to the attorneys and then they can sell your property force you to sell and all those things which is not nice at all so before you buy a property in a complex try to investigate the rules that are within that um that that complex you know um so that you are well aware when you buy that property you don't go there and say oh i i was not aware that things are like this and then the other thing is um the municipality rates they are mostly higher in a freestanding house yes they are usually higher than in a complex in a complex you're paying for the unit they are lower depending on where your property is so you also need to also factor that in your budget so before you buy a property don't just go and say okay the bond um let's say there's this property that you like this apartment that you like in a complex and you say okay fine um the the bond will or you estimate the bond and you say it will be six thousand and then you say okay six thousand and then plus the rates and then that's it and then you think that that's it no 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 you also need to be aware that you will pay levies you know so the levies they differ some complexes or some body corporates they will make you pay 700 and something and some they will make you pay higher than that so you also need to factor that in your monthly budget so that you don't have any surprises and um, so you choose you know both the freestanding and the property that is within a complex they have their pros and their cons so you need to also factor these things when you um when you want to borrow buy a property and then the other one is um usually the property or the the, the, co the property within the complex they tend to be newer than the house the freestanding house because you find out that, that this house was built when um maybe 1970 but the property is newly built because there was a development that maybe started in 2010 so the property is still quite new within that uh, within that complex it yes you've got some that are very old but most of them they are still new and um yeah and the other thing is when you buying uh, a property within a complex you have to learn to share you know um you have to learn to share because like i've said most of the space is shared space 
um, it's not your space, but you shared space. You know, you 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 can't go there and put your 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 your, your rubbish bin. You have to put your rubbish bin within a designated point. You can't just say, okay, I want to put my rubbish bin by the gate today. I want to put it in that corner, in that corner. No, you don't have that kind of flexibility. You have to do what the. For, for example, I know that in some property, um, in some complexes, they will tell you that they collect rubbish bin only on Mondays before twelve. So you have to do that. If by 12 o'clock your rubbish bin is still by your house, then you have to wait for another week, you know, because they lock the, the, the areas. And I know that some people uh, within the complexes, they suffer theft um, when they put their laundry on the line. Um, 10 minutes later, when they go to first their laundry, it's, it's not there anymore because it has been stolen and you can't really know that they seize the, the the person that stole it is from this unit and this unit i remember just a story when we were still staying at rest so there's this guy who came at i think it was 2 a.m he came he was coming from partying he came with his girlfriend i think he was hungry then he decided to cook chicken he was cooking in the kitchen and the kitchen was shared so whilst he was cooking there somebody came and took the whole pot of the chicken and disappeared so that guy ended up knocking on all the units in the on the, on the same on the same floor G -g 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 guys i'm looking for my pot i'm looking for my chicken i'm looking for my food and all those things so those things they tend to happen when the space is shared but if you have your own freestanding you have flexibility to extend in the future you have the flexibility if you want to change this window uh, if you want to change the windows to be aluminium you can do so if you want to change the position of the window from this point to another point you can do so because it is your house you don't have to go and um request approval so those are the benefits and yeah between the house that is freestanding and the house that is within the complex so you choose you you, you choose which one will suit your needs and uh, depending on the benefits of each like i've highlighted um both of them they have their cons they have their pros so you need to weigh which ones are more because sometimes you find out that because where you are right now you cannot really afford a freestanding house and you can cope with having a, a a house that is within a complex go for it um and i know that some people they, they they prioritize safety so much so if you prioritize safety so much you can buy a property within a complex that is quite secure so that you don't sit with worries and then you wonder who will jump on the the the, the, the wall and all those things you know um yeah so i think for now guys that's it if you like the content please like and subscribe and share it to your friends peace out i'll see you on the next one